On Sunday, September 9th, the city of Port Coquitlam, which just recently hosted their annual downtown Popo car show, shifted gears by shutting down McAllister Avenue and inviting the community to come out to their first ever car-free day. All attendees were invited to walk, run, or roll on their favorite mode of transportation, just as long as they leave their car at home. Of course, the BC Transit Museum was on hand with vintage vehicles and displays that emphasized the unique history of public transit in the region. TransLink, another of the event sponsors, was also on hand to extol the virtues of public transportation and to provide information and prizes promoting their highly successful Compass Card program. Hi, I'm Lola Lockhart here at the TransLink booth at Car Free Poco. We are letting folks know about Tap In to Win. Tap In to Win means every single time you tap your compass card, you can win a fabulous prize, like five years of a transit pass, or a stay in Whistler, or an electric bike or scooter. We also have a wheel you can spin and get a free bus ticket. Transit is awesome because you don't have to pay for parking, you don't have to pay for gas. If you're going downtown or for an event or whatever, it's way more convenient to take a bus or a SkyTrain than it is to try to find parking. Plus, then you can have a couple of cocktails. Throughout the afternoon, attendees were treated to performances by local entertainers and were able to participate in a wide variety of family activities. Local entrepreneurs were also given plenty of opportunity to engage with the public at this event, which was also sponsored by the Downtown Port Coquitlam Business Improvement Association. Hey, I'm Jennifer McKinnon with the Downtown Port Coquitlam Business Improvement Association. Uh, we're proud to sponsor uh, with the City of Coquitlam, Port Coquitlam and TransLink the uh, Car Free Day uh, on McAllister Avenue today. The Downtown Poco BIA is responsible for the advocacy and promotion um, of the downtown core for Port Coquitlam. Uh, we work with the city and other partners and stakeholders to bring people into the downtown to support the businesses and help shop local. In addition to the transit-related displays, entertainment on two stages, and local businesses that were featured at this event, Community groups such as Poco Heritage and Arts Focus were also well represented. Join me in welcoming from the Coquitlam First Nation, Elder Marie Hooper. Welcome, visitors, guests to Port Coquitlam. First car pre day event. At this time, I'd like to do a land acknowledgement. I raise my hands up to you all, welcome. We would like to acknowledge that we reside on the traditional territories, ancestral unceded territory of the Coquitlam people, which shared territories of the Saber-Tooth, Katsi, Musqueam, Kekite, Squamish, and Stolo nations. We are situated near the Port Coquitlam city center, located along the Coquitlam River, in British Columbia. The Coquitlam people have lived in our traditional territory known as the Coquitlam watershed and surrounding areas since before remembered time. Archaeological findings have confirmed continuous occupation of our traditional territory for over 9,000 years. The green mode of travel ways to cut back on carbon pollution, 
biking, walking, efficient and earth-friendly models of transportation. Looking at generating fewer emissions, lower our carbon footprint, eco-friendly. Transportation we cannot do without. Current transport systems come with a wide range of problems. Global warming, environmental degradation, health implications, physical, emotional, and mental, and spiritual. Emissions of greenhouse gases resulting from burning of fossil fuels. Move towards transportation habitat environmentally friendly. Transport that does not emit toxic gases that can impact the environment and human health. Eco-friendly is the way moving forward. I'd like to thank the partners for the event, Translink, Poco BA. Sponsorships by Vancouver, best place. Vancouver is awesome and I agree with that 100%. Heichka, thank you. Well, thank you very much, Elder Marie, for your meaningful words and your warm welcome. My name is Brad West, and I am so proud to be the mayor of the best city in British Columbia, Port Coquitlam. And welcome everyone to Port Coquitlam's very first car-free day on McAllister Avenue. I want to thank, absolutely, I want to thank our friends at TransLink and the Port Coquitlam Business Improvement Association for their partnership in making all of this happen. What an awesome turnout we have. Now, if you can believe it, over the last number of decades, the city has drawn up a number of downtown plans and studies and conducted consultations. We've done surveys, we've done questionnaires, and we've had open houses. And through it all, the message from our residents has been clear. They want a downtown that is lively, that has a variety of amazing public spaces and amenities, that's home to a large number of cool places to shop, eat, drink, and be entertained. They want a downtown that is safe, that is welcoming, that's accessible and walkable. They want a downtown that hosts events where you can hear live music, take in a show, see public art, and soak up the culture. They want a downtown that gives you a reason to come here and to stay here. And it kind of sounds exactly what we got going on right here, right now. So I love it. I'm so proud to tell you that that is exactly what our council's vision is. And after a lot of talk, I'm very proud that we are taking action, making it happen, and bringing that vision to life. We're just getting started. Next up is an impressive transformation and enhancement of Lee Square to tie into the work that was completed at Veterans and here on McAllister. It will be followed by extending the Donald Pathway to McAllister and is complemented by strategic purchases of prominent key properties. You put it all together and we are getting it done. And though it's going to take some time, I want to tell you that when the full picture is complete, Port Coquitlam's downtown will stand out as the very best in the entire province. We have an amazing lineup in store for you today. Amazing music and entertainment, some of it homegrown right here in Port Coquitlam. We've got our main stage, we have a family stage on Veterans Park, we've got our breweries, we've got our distillery, we've got delicious food trucks, great local restaurants, so many of our businesses open today, and most importantly, we have the best people from the best city to celebrate this car-free day. So thank you to everyone who has helped make this happen. As you can imagine, there is a tremendous amount of work that goes into an event of this magnitude, and it would not be possible without the valued support of all of our partners and sponsors. So please join me in acknowledging TransLink, the Downtown Focal Business Improvement Association, Vancouver's Best Places, and Code Ninjas. So 
So thank you very much everyone for being here. We're gonna have an awesome day, enjoy it. This is an incredible turnout for the first ever car-free day here in Port Coquitlam. It's great to see so many people experiencing everything uh, that this event has to offer, the food trucks, the artists, the music, the festivities, everything. There's literally something for everybody here at this festival. Uh, we are here today to celebrate community and to celebrate sustainability, and that's what TransLink is all about. That's why I'm so glad that so many of you here today uh, took transit to get here. Uh, that's fantastic, because at TransLink, we're always encouraging people to get out of cars, take just one less trip uh, by car, and events like this, great weather like this, is a great opportunity uh, to get out of your car and take transit. Uh, I want to uh, let the festivities get underway, and so I, I do want to take a moment also to thank our partners, uh, and certainly Mayor Brad West, our, our Chair of our Mayor's Council on Regional Transportation, and the Mayor of Port Coquitlam, uh, Elder Marie Hooper, and the Coquitlam First Nation, uh, and the Downtown Port Coquitlam BIA. Thank you so much uh, for your partnership. Uh, while you're here, be sure to stop by the TransLink bus, the TransLink tent, you can win prizes. Uh, so thanks again so much for being here. Thanks so much for choosing transit and enjoy the day. Thanks.